Rhythm of tangos is very similar to rumba, but generally slower, and slower beats allow more dense division of time, and therefore richer in rhythmic figures. Today, in 21st century, to analyze all the flamenco palos, we must look into cajon playing patterns. During the second half of the 20th century, flamenco culture evolved and completely assimilated the cajon. The origins of cajon are from the colonized countries from South America, but the Spanish version has guitar strings inside, leaning on the front board. As flamenco evolved with assimilation of cajon, the disposition of percussive sounds in guitar patterns gradually through time shaped cajon patterns. Not just with golpes, but in every aspect, cajon is imitating the guitar. First, los remates, which are repetitive rasqueos figures on the guitar that Cajon copied. Peruan original Cajon is what its name says, a big box, in augmentative, that has nothing else inside. Spanish Cajon has guitar strings inside, which add specific buzzing snare-like sound to Cajon, so it copies those repetitive rasqueos played on the guitar. In the same way, Los Golpes on the guitar influenced the bass kick in cajon patterns in every palo flamenco. In tangos, the kick is never on the first beat, it's on the 2 E and 4. Just as in any other style of flamenco, tangos also has a repeating rhythmical pattern, and every now and then a remate appears. The accented beats of the repeating bar are 2 E and 4. 2E is the second quaver of the second crotchet, while in the remate bar, the third beat is the heavy one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This will maybe come as a surprise, but the vocal is the most important element. It shapes everything else, from guitar falsettas with its specific motif, to the harmonic rhythm of the song, as well as the length of the musical periods, and the whole musical form, with its choruses, refrains and bridges. Actually, accompanying the vocal shaped the whole flamenco guitar. The guitar is a secondary thing in flamenco. The vocal came first, in fact. So we'll approach from that angle as if we would be accompanying the vocal. Tangos, the whole rhythmical pattern has two bars, although the repeating segment can be much smaller. Let's start with the most typical tangos pattern. Let's add some bass notes as well as alzapua to our tangos pattern. but Remate will always finish with A flat 9 from wherever the surrounding consonance is. Of course, in flamenco, altered chords are often used. If we alter the bass note of the 4th degree chord, a minor will become a double diminished and its bass note will behave just like any other leading note, resolving in the direction of alteration. This consonance has both leading notes surrounding the dominant, G sharp and B, making together a diminished third with both notes of the chromatic interval leading to A. In lessons to come, we'll be looking into flamenco harmony and altered chords more closely. Every future guitar falsetta will play in tangos 
will base on these vocal accompanying patterns. So let's use the maximum number of techniques we can and use the simplicity of binary tango structure to truly start mastering flamenco guitar playing styles. As soon as we master playing flamenco styles patterns so we can play compass, we'll proceed to play more and more elaborate falsettas. As flamenco culture evolved, so did the guitar, and the guitar falsettas. Evolution of flamenco brought some amazing artists on the world scene, continuously throughout the 20th century. But the repression was the highest in the 60s, and that's when flamenco reached its peak. The Spain began opening, and flamenco started to influence the world, fusing with other styles of music and art. Realistically, all these falsettas and patterns I'm showing you were first invented in the 60s by flamenco guitar teachers. The sample library will help you practice and assimilate the rhythm, but it's there to inspire you and boost your creativity. Every sample has every beat and every group of beats marked, so you get the clearest picture of the compass. So enjoy the sample library, play with good aire and good luck.